The European Parliament is an important forum for political debate and decision-making in the European Union. The plenary debates are published in 24 languages. They are a rich source for humanities and social sciences researchers that focus on areas such as European history, integration and politics. Given their multilinguality, they're also a rich source for linguists. The Talk of Europe project has made these debates available as linked data for reuse and research purposes. In Talk of Europe, we have created a linked open data version of the debates of the European Parliament. So that is the transcriptions of everything that's being said in the Parliament. Now, this is already open data. Uh, it can be queried and browsed on the website of the European Parliament. What we did is we've created a structured version of that and we've linked it to other data sets. We have an, a, a very big ambition because basically when we got the idea for this project, we uh, saw a longer term perspective that would be a big European project that would try to investigate how you could use uh, parliament debates, uh, but maybe also news from, from the formal media and um, the communications on the social media to, 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 to see how society reacts to specific societal problems. So in, in our data set you can now query for speeches that contain a certain word uh, or you can do queries that combine uh, people parties, topics, for example, or even the knowledge that's available in these externally linked datasets. We have organized three creative camps uh, for which we published an open call for people who are interested in working with the dataset. And a total of 50 people from all over Europe, uh, people from the humanities, the social sciences, but also computer sciences, uh, came to work with us to answer their own research questions. I had questions I couldn't answer just by making search queries myself or I could perhaps do it but it could, would cost a lot of time and when I saw the call for participation I thought oh well this is perhaps a way to explore whether yeah, better research methods are possible. So if there's one question uh, that we would like to answer it by the end of the week it's like how did the European Parliament look at European Court of Justice rulings? So did they appreciate them in general or did they rather uh, oppose to them? Or can you perhaps uh, split that up in political affiliations that some parties uh, rather uh, like a European Court of Justice rulings and other parties do not? Uh, but that would be uh, our first aim for this week. One of the results of the second creative camp uh, is a study into how the European Parliament discusses higher education. This was done by Julie Burkholz, who's an expert on that topic. This was one of the queries that was used in this study. We are retrieving all speeches with the word education in it uh, and the party of the speaker. Here you see the results. This is the first speech by the ALDE party, the second speech, the third speech, and we go down the list. We want to have an impact on what's happening in research and indirectly on what's happening in society. And I think that um, using this project as a basis, uh, we can really hope that we will be able to understand in the long run better what's happening in society. Especially if you try to, to focus on specific problems. So how uh, do people react to, to refugee problem? How do people in the country react to the financial crisis or whatever new crises or disasters will uh, be ahead of us. The title of our project was um, Is My Politician Coherent? And um, I think we had an interesting result because we were able to connect each member of parliament with um, their tweets or Facebook posts. And uh, it was interesting to see how, for instance, our project could be connected to others. We have shown to ourselves that we are capable of, let's say, bringing together a number of young people who are interested in, in working on these things. And I, I find it very refreshing to see that all these young people were really working here with great enthusiasm. So it's, I'm really looking forward to preparing this big European uh, project in which uh, all these people can work together.